The internet is blowing up right now, and this story even made it to Good Morning America. But anyways, the fitness influencer Brittany Dawn has been called out for scamming her audience. But as always, there's a lot of lessons that you and me both can learn from this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I've had quite a few um, requests to talk about this Brittany Dawn situation and I was debating on it. Um, I was thinking about covering the Emma Chamberlain situation but I think I can kind of talk about both, all right? But I really wanted to do this video because it's actually a topic that um, my buddy Matt and I were talking about on the Unsolicited Advice podcast last night. By the way, if you're not subscribed to that channel yet, do it, and uh, it'll be up on streaming platforms very soon, so make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul. But anyways, he and I were having a discussion about our morals, our values, and when it comes to the business decisions that we make, the career decisions that we make, and all that. So this is why it's important to you. Something that I'm trying to do, and a lot of you know this with my channel, is every piece of content that you're uh, you're, you're consuming, every everything, I want you to sit back and ask yourself, like, what can I learn from this? So for those of you not familiar with the Brittany Dawn situation, she is a fitness influencer. Combined between her YouTube and her Instagram, she has hundreds and hundreds of thousands of um, followers. I think on YouTube, she has almost 300,000 and on Instagram, she has about a half a million. But anyway, she started selling a service, all right, with these individualized fitness plans. So we're gonna talk about what happened to Brittany and what things that you can avoid, all right? But then we're also gonna talk about the consumer side of these things and what we can do to prevent getting caught in a potential scam, all right? Because something that I, I keep thinking about most of the day is that, you know, we need to focus on what we can control and not what we can't control. And part of it's because of this new book I'm reading by uh, Ryan Holiday, but it's amazing. Anyways. So Brittany Dawn, she came out with this kind of BS apology and man, people just don't know how to apologize. And basically she's, she's saying like what's happening. And so a lot of people were saying they were scammed by her because she was offering like $300 individualized plans with 24 seven access to her. And she kind of made this video reactionary after a father confronted her and it was caught on camera saying that he wanted his money back for his daughter who spent like $200 on this thing. So she made it after the fact. So the first lesson I want you guys to take away from this is too many of us, like Brittany Dawn, are reactionary with our apologies or admitting to our faults. This is the worst thing that you can do. Like you guys, this is something that used to fuel my anxiety. I was the type of guy who would like screw up at work and I'm just like, okay, okay, maybe nobody, nobody will notice and maybe it'll be okay, right? We'll just sweep this, sweep this under the rug. And then you're sitting there with that anxiety of hoping nobody finds out. And then guess what happens? Typically they find out, then you're confronted it with it. So your avoidance technique did not work, all right? So when I moved back to Vegas and I got my first job, like, and I was new, like something I was trying to do was be a better person. Something I learned was when I'm wrong, I promptly talk to somebody and admit to it and I apologize. So that's what I started doing at this new job. Like when I screwed up, I would go to the boss and say, listen, I screwed up. And you guys, it's so liberating. Like. It's crazy, I, I'm telling you this right now. Your boss, your management, people in your life, your friends, your family members, your significant other, whoever it is, they will respect you so much more for going straight to them and admitting that you were wrong before they have to uncover it themselves, all right? So when, you're, when you screw up, just get ahead of it and just tell them, all right? Drop the pride, drop the ego and just go admit to it, all right? So it already looked bad when Brittany Dawn did this in a reactionary way, all right? So the next thing is, is that she was talking about how she bit off more than she can chew, you know, but a lot of men, a lot of people suck at apologizing because they, they try to give excuses, all right? I was gonna say reasons, but these are excuses. And she's like, I'm the sole operator of this. I'm the CEO and the financial advisor and the accountant and all these other things. Like, you guys, like, this is something that is, 
like such an issue in the YouTube community. And in my opinion, this is one of the reasons why the YouTube community is not being respected on the same level as like mainstream celebrities because nobody wants to hear those excuses, right? Like it's nobody else's fault that you're not hiring help, right? So Brittany Dawn in this situation, like there's one of two reasons that this happens to all of us, okay? It's, it's, either, it's either greed or trust issues. So some, some people are so greedy that they don't wanna hire help. Like this can happen with business owners or entrepreneurs. They will not hire help because you know what that means? That means that they have to split a piece of the pie with somebody. So a lot of people, especially in the YouTube realm, you see people who are biting off way more than they could chew because they don't wanna give somebody a cut of it. So the greed leads to a terrible service and a terrible product. All right, like the other issue is, is trust issues. I see so many YouTubers who are stressing themselves out, they're burning out when they have plenty of money to hire somebody to help edit their footage or help film for them or do whatever, but they don't trust somebody to do it. You guys, when I was in California this last week, like Zach was editing all my videos. I trust him, I have to, because my mental health is extremely, extremely important, but, a lot of times it is greed, but you guys, like when we're looking at these situations, like recent scam situations and stuff like that, like when you look at Gabby Hanna, when you look at Rice Gum's BS apology about the whole mystery box thing, like something that you see is they're like, I do everything myself. Uh, you know, like Gabby was saying, like, I don't have a manager. I don't have somebody to research all this stuff. And she admitted that she should have, but like not having somebody look through it for you is no excuse. Girl, you got the money, right? Rice gum, he's like, oh, my manager just told me about Mystery Box and then I just promoted it. No, that is not an excuse, okay? Like now that my channel is 100,000 subscribers, I'm getting a ton of brands emailing me all the time. And this is something Matt and I were talking about last night. Like I research these things because this is what I'm trying to teach you guys. We have to learn from people who are screwing up. We have to. They are walking that minefield for us, okay? They are going through all of the booby traps for us, so what do we learn? So now the brands are reaching out to me, I'm sitting there and I'm researching it, I'm like, what are your reviews and all of that, and if it's a brand new company and they don't have any reviews, sorry, but I'm not gonna be your guinea pig, all right? Like, I am trying to build trust with my audience, so I'm not gonna do it, so I'm not gonna stand, uh, stand behind a product that I don't believe in, I'm not gonna do one that doesn't have good reviews, and this is important, like, you guys, where are your values? Where are your morals? Like, are you getting jobs or are you looking for a job where you're gonna take money and sacrifice your morals for it? Like, this is something that puts you in a bad situation. Like, one of my goals at the end of every single day is to go to sleep with a clear conscience, all right? The best thing that all of us can do as human beings is on a day-to-day -day basis, cause as little damage to ourselves and others, okay? So I can no longer work for a company or work with a company in which they're doing immoral things, all right? So I don't I don't accept excuses like, like Brittany Dawn is putting out there that she was taking on too much or she was doing this because it's, it's come to fruition that, you know, she's living this lavish lifestyle and she's using this money to do this and this and this. And what she should have done is once she realized that she overloaded herself by offering 24 seven access to her that she couldn't keep up with, she should have pulled the plug and offered refunds, all right? So get ahead of these things. Now, on the consumer side, we have to look for red flags, okay? We have to. And I'll start by saying this, something that uh, that you always have to look out for is individualized, okay? This is a term that a lot of companies use. It's individualized, individualized. And you have to sit back and say, okay, can this person really offer it? Like Tristan and I were talking this morning and we were like, okay, can, like uh, maybe a fitness trainer can do that. Like fitness trainers might give you like, you know, their cell phone number or whatever. They might be able to do that. But somebody like Brittany Dawn with hundreds of thousands of people, like, I like that, like, no, you can't, you can't keep up with that, especially if you're doing this by yourself. So like, I know of mental health treatment centers that say individualized, not, not only from my experience working at a mental health treatment center, but also doing freelance works 
writing articles for uh, rehab centers. So many of them toss around the word individualized. So that is a red flag. But the other red flag is what I mentioned. When somebody says 24 seven access and stuff like that, like it's just mind blowing. And we have to sit back and say, can they do this? All right, like I live in Las Vegas, okay? So I imagine somebody working graveyard shift, getting off at two in the morning, hitting up the gym, and like, could they just call up like Brittany Dawn at 2 a.m. and just be like, hey Brittany, I just wanted to get some tips on this workout I'm doing, right? Like, no, no, <laughs> she can't. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't to take responsibility away from Brittany Dawn, but when we learn from these situations, when we learn from what other people are doing, we can start to spot these things. This is why it's good to have a healthy sense of anxiety, all right? So again, like be mindful of these things. Be mindful of, are you sacrificing morals and values for money, okay? Like a question that um, uh, Matt asked me last night, he's like, what if it was like $100,000? And I'm like, no. No, absolutely not. I'm not gonna work with a brand I don't believe in for $100,000. My life has been fine without $100,000. It's not gonna be great with that because again, at the end of the day, I gotta go to sleep at night. I gotta live with me, okay? So this isn't just about business. This isn't just about um, like where you're working or what you're trying to do to you know move up the ladder and all of that. But it's about like just treating other people with kindness and respect and, you know, trying to help other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you got to do on a daily basis to go to sleep at night with a clear conscience, all right? And touching on the Emma Chamberlain situation, I do think that people get way too upset about how individuals and entrepreneurs are making their money. Like, Emma Chamberlain isn't doing anything wrong. I think Angelica Oles, I actually just watched her video on it. Angelica Oles did an amazing job. Go watch her video discussing it. Like, she's providing value, you know? For $5 a month, that is valuable. Like, this is something I look at with my Patreon. It's something I look at with the books that I put out and how I price them. You know, is somebody getting their, their money's worth? Right? And like Angelica Oles talked about in her video, like Emma Chamberlain's actually offering more than a lot of other creators, okay? But we need to get this mindset out of our heads, like everything should be free and nobody should make money and da 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 da, right? Like if you don't like it, like just don't buy it. Like if you don't believe in it, don't buy it. <laughs> you know, like it's not, it's not that difficult. Like don't get upset over something that you don't really need to get upset about, all right? And I'm not telling you how to feel or anything like that, but like just move along to say, oh, an extra video a month isn't worth it to me. Move right along, all right? It will save you a headache and some mean tweets, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also go subscribe to us on the Unsolicited Advice Podcast and make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I will let you know as soon as it, it is up on streaming services. I think the first one it's gonna be on is Spotify, all right? And I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing and don't forget, I just put up the Patreon Q&A, which I will be filming later this month. And if you would like to have your questions answered for as little as a dollar a month, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.